Okay, after we install the print head, we can start to load ink to the ink tank. So we're going to find out the print head, the, the ink tank cover at the, the back side of the machine. And we're going to loosen the screw on the top. There are six glue. Okay, after we loosen the screw, we can take out the cover, and we can see the old ink tank here. When we open the cover, we can see there are totally one, two, three, four, six, uh, five, six, seven, eight, eight ink tank. And each ink tank have the color label, black cyan, magenta, and white, white, one ish for three, and also yellow, and cyan, and black, and also light magenta. So we find out the label, and we, see the, we can see the label, the color label for each ink tank. So, First, then we're going to load ink to the ink tank. So first, we find out the ink tank, the ink that go with delivery. So every ink, we must check in about two minutes before we load ink, especially for the white ink. And also, before you load ink, you must be sure the ink is hot UV or soft UV. We cannot use for one color for one. Some color is use, some color is soft UV and some color is hard UV. It's not working. So we're checking the ink before the, before we fill the ink. And for wet ink, for this is the wet ink, after we checking, it's not enough. We still need to to load it because the ink during delivery is for a long time, for more than ten days. 20 days, so the ink, white ink is settling. So of course, the top is light, the bottom is, is heavy, so it's not equal. So it's shaking, making equal, and also we open it, and we find out the tissue, but not paper, not hanging chipped, but the fabric that go with the machine delivery. We find out fabric, to, to find out the long screwdriver, and we clean it. Make it uh, no dust. It's clean. You can clean it by the echo. After cleaning, we shaking. We put screwdriver inside of the ball bottle, and then we shaking load it by the clockwise or anticlockwise direction, and shake and also load to be sure the white ink on the bottom is not settling, but equal for each. I'm shaking by this. So each bottle, each bottle of white ink we must do by this way. And for the color ink, we don't need to shake it. And we not to uh, put the screwdriver inside, we must just shake it, that's enough. But for white ink, each new bottle, we must do like this. So after we shake and load, we take our, print, take our screwdriver and we clean it. Then we fill the white ink to the ink tank. We find out the wet, he's here is the wet mark. And also here have the tape. 
so the ink tube cannot put too much to the bottom. Be sure the position with tape here is connect with the cover. So we're gonna open the cover and we put, we put some paper to be sure the ink will not spread out. Like this way, and we fear or we fear the ink, what ink. We not, not need to pour too much. About two thirds for the top, for the total volume is enough. Even also for the bottle, if you are long time not use the machine, you still need to use the screwdriver to clean it and to check on the bottom to be sure the ink will not settling inside of the bottle, especially for the white ink. So after that, we close the ink cover But not too tighten. We just load and loosen a little bit to be sure the air can go inside of the tank to make the ink spray to the ink tank and the ink damper. If you lost, we faster it so the ink cannot go cannot go to the print head. So this is very important. Open the ink cover for each ink tank up with your ink. So then we fill the ink by the same way to magenta, yellow, black, cyan, that's like the magenta and the varnish. And this is also the varnish, this is the varnish. The varnish have two, three tubes. The white ink also three tubes for one ink tank. Another color is one ink tuber for one tank. So after we load ink and every ink is loaded and also the ink tuber is not bent. Be sure the ink not, tuber not bent like this. If bend like this, it damage and the ink cannot go through. So check each ink tuber carefully. And the, all the ink tuber are connected to the bottom ready, not to not pull out. Otherwise the air go inside to work. it will cause the print drop ink. So be sure everything's okay, then we put it back the cover to the machine to protect the dust or waste the, waste the dust or some to also the mouse. You loosen back the screw for each. So after we install the cover, then we still maybe have a half or some waste, some uh, balance ink we need to use for next time. So we need to close the cover and shaking and put the ink without sunshine, without any strong light, and also without any high temperature earlier. We put on um, the good environment with good temperature about 18 to 22 degree, and also the humidity about the 70%, and without strong sunshine, then also we need to shaking for every week, even if we not use it, and also we opposite to load it. 
Okay, so after we uh, install printhead, now we, and also we load ink to the ink tank, now we can start to load ink from the uh, ink damper, because now the ink tuber and ink, ink damper printhead all are empty without any ink. So the first time we uh, load ink to damper, we need to find out the brand new injection. And we find out the, the glove. So it must be it's very younger, it's very young, it's a young man, and we, I'm still don't have girlfriend, so I need to protect my finger wear. Otherwise, I cannot find out my girlfriend. So protect your finger good. If you want to be, must be friend, girlfriend, please call me. Okay, now it's 18 years older. Okay, we find out the brand new injection. And please remember, one injection used for one ink damper, for one color. Sorry, the glove is too big. My finger is too small. Huh? Okay, we take out. And check is clean without any dust. <sighs> it's clean and it's fastened. So we're going to load damper by injection one by one. So on the ink flow for the white, we can see the mark is white, is white, white, white. Varnish, varnish, varnish. Or if you don't want to put white, uh, put a varnish ink, so the ink flow will be white, 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 white. Six or a white. So in one word, six or a white ink, or one, two, three is white. Four, five, six is for varnish. So for this demo, we put varnish. Varnish for next uh, three. And here, as for K, first one is black. Then second one is cyan. And number three is magenta. And number four is yellow. And number five is light cyan. The last one is light magenta. So this is ink flow. So for example, right now we load the the first time we load that magenta. So we take out damper and we connect. First of all, not very important. We take out the damper or put or take out or install damper. We must hold the damper by this way, by this way. Okay, so if we, if we hold the damper by this way, the end will be flush out to damage print head or the ink spray to the print head cable to get print head problem or spray to the machine, get the machine dirty. So please remember, we must hold the damper by this way, but not by this way. By the left and the right side, but not by the, uh, by, if by this way, it's hold the damper by front and back, but not by the side way. So we load damper and we connect the injection and we start to load the ink. The first time we need to pour the air out and pour, pour the ink about three to five milliliter for each color, for each damper. And be sure there's no bubbles coming out. If you have bubbles coming out, that means the ink supply system have air inside. So we cannot get a good nozzle check. So after that what was the
Ready? After we load the ink, then we pull, we install the ink damper to the print head. And the fasten wear without shaking or loosen. Fast enough. And also for safety, before we install print head, before we load ink and install, install damper, we find the paper and we close it, we fold it, and we put it on the both side of the print head cable position to be sure the ink will, even any mistake, the ink will not spread out to the print head cable position. It's for safety. For each cable, we do the protect. This is just for backup. The ink will not spread out to the print head port. So even the ink spread out, it will be protected by the paper. this and also all the cable we must be sure it's not to tighten we have enough space otherwise when we're printing the cable will move the cable will make it faster so be sure the cable all four cable one two three four cables have enough space not to tighten the print head have enough space for each cable and then we load the ink, find another injection, injection to load the ink from the damp, ink tank to damper by the same way. Another color, use another new injection. And the waste the ink, the ink we put out first time from the, uh, stay, at the, stay at the injection, we need to throw away. We cannot use use again because it has some dust or some uh, other things stay at the ink tuber or the ink tank, so we must throw away the first time. So this is the procedure to load ink to the ink damper from the ink tank. <laughs> 